Uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're going into week eight now. Um, you know, we've done some some good things offensively throughout the year, uh, but obviously a lot to improve upon. And um, just looking back, kind of where we were last year at this point compared to where we are now, um, just night and day difference. But like I said, it, it, still a lot of room to improve, and um, we just got to be playing our best football uh, by the time the playoffs come by the end of the year. So a lot, lot to work on still. Brady was trying to get you the ball in the red zone Sunday. It just didn't click. What was happening? Yeah, um, sometimes that happens. Uh, kind of frustrating, you know, pass got knocked down. Um, you know, just one kind of behind me. And, um, you know, it, it's part of the game. You know, sometimes it all seems to fall into place for you. And other times it's like Sunday where you can't catch a break. So um, just got to keep working and, uh, you know, keep working on our time and stuff like that. And um, hopefully we, we can get it clicking at some point here. Yeah, you guys won the game. Against New Orleans and that was right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, easiest thing to point out is turnovers, but, um, you know, it's a team we play, you know, twice a year, last year, three times, a team we're really familiar with. And, um, yeah, obviously we had our struggles with them over the years and um, kind of able to rectify that last year during the playoffs. But uh, it's a new season. Um, just watching them on tape still, great defense, have great players all over the field. Um, they do a lot of things, uh, you know, with their front four to put pressure on us. And, um, you know, we all got to be on the same page this week, uh, you know, really work through the details throughout the week. It's a tough place to play. We didn't really have that element last year, which was nice. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be wild on Halloween uh, this Sunday. So uh, a lot of work this week to put in. And um, I feel like as long as we were able to protect Tom, uh, kind of establish the line of scrimmage, that's what really helped us in the playoffs. So um, hopefully run the football and protect uh, the quarterback. Yeah. Cam, Sunday, you and Jameis, just two guys going up against their old team, if uh -huh. you will. Uh, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's legend. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to ask you, obviously he was like that last year, but now to have him as a starter, just, just uh -huh. what it's like to, to have him on the other sidelines to, to think about him being on the other side. Right, the yeah, yeah. James is a guy I'm still super close with, talk to him all the time, um, always watch him when I can. So uh, definitely will be different. Um, you know, last year during the playoffs, he went in for the one play through a touchdown pass. And uh, obviously at the time I was pissed that – you know, we gave up a touchdown, but like secretly, I was like, "Yeah, good for Jameis," you know, uh, making a play there. But um, yeah, it's still a guy. A lot of a lot of guys on the team are still close with him. Um, can say nothing but good things about our time with Jameis. So um, I always wish him the best. Just not not Sunday. Yeah. Kevin, if you were to look at like the numbers offensively, you guys are at the top in a lot of categories. But were you saying, you know, there's a lot of things we got to work on, we got to get better? Yeah. Is that from Tom, who admits he's always striving like for perfection? Yeah, I mean that's that's football. You always strive for perfection, but no, <laughs> no one can play a perfect game. Yeah, you always fall short. You know, Sunday was 38 to three. Uh, we were in control the whole game, but we we got stopped at the goal line twice. Uh, weren't able to convert. Um, short yardages into touchdowns. Uh, didn't really play well on third down. So you look at the box score and you're like five touchdowns. You know, that we were up by five touchdowns at halftime, um, but it wasn't our best football. And so we know that. And um, long season, just got to keep getting better. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. And with Brown down, you know, OJ kind of as a tag team tight end there. Uh, what have you seen in the progression from OJ, especially, you know, we're almost halfway, getting to halfway through the off that right. No one worked harder than OJ this offseason to put himself in the position he has uh, for this year. So um, obviously that's a, a huge injury, you know, uh, Achilles. So um, took him a little bit to get comfortable, but I think you guys have seen uh, he's he's starting to get a little more comfortable and um, saw in the Eagles game, uh, found a bunch of ways to get him the ball and he made a bunch of plays for us. So. Um, yeah, you know, we're going to be getting Gronk back here uh, at some point. So um, I'm sure our opportunities will go down a little bit once Gronk's back, which is we're, we're OK with that, you know, seeding uh, some targets for the best tight end of all time. We're cool with that. But um, 
yeah, you know, OJ is still working really hard, still getting back to 100%, but um, he's starting to look more and more like himself. So. I mean, yeah, our offensive line is really good, so that helps. Like, all five of those guys are playing great. Um, we kind of switched up what we were doing in terms of, like, blitz protections. We, we spent a ton of time during practice when the, when the defense is taking reps, offensive line, quarterbacks, tight ends. We're, we're still going through blitz walkthroughs to make sure we're all on the same page with everything. Uh, we started doing that towards the end of the season last year, and we've kind of kept that going this year. And uh, I think that's paid huge dividends. Um, as long as we're all on the same page, like we we got great players, we're going to be able to move the ball, protect the quarterback. So, um, I think that was a big change for us, and um, that was spearheaded by Tom. So, yeah, it was uh, a good a good little addition to our weekly game plan. We we added. No question. Yeah, you can definitely tell just coming in uh, to the facility today, going out to practice. There definitely is a heightened sense of urgency. Um, I don't know if like it's not like college where it's like Michigan Ohio State rivalry, but um, you know this is a team that we have struggled with uh, over the past few years, and um, we know how big of a game it is. Uh, we know how physical of a team they are, so it is a big week. Um, and, uh, you know, the coaches have kind of emphasized that, but we know that as players, too. It's a big one.